All right, here it is, guys. Here it is. Here it is. Guess who's in the studio with me now? Max G and Sergeant Tibbs. They are the authors of Go Wear Hip Hop, the number one Chicago hip hop blog. So good that it puts my own hip hop blog to shame. <laughs> my hip hop blog, uh, the hip hop uh, lollipop shop, I'm going to close down because your <laughs> blog is better. I've said it. I don't care. All right, uh, lots to discuss with you guys. Number one, thanks for being here, guys. I appreciate Thank you. Oh, we appreciate here. you having us on. Thank you very much. Yeah. Um, let's talk about uh, the rap war. There has been for for years now this this rivalry of East Coast rappers and West Coast rappers, and I know that that's more rap. Uh, is there a rivalry like that in hip hop? Because rap tends to lend itself, I think, to a more violent culture, whereas hip hop. Right. When I hear hip hop guys, I think of bunnies. I don't think of anger. I don't think of right. hatred. I think of a, 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 you know a lighter uh, sentence. I think. Uh, is there anything similar to that in the world of hip hop? Is there is there that kind of a rivalry? I, th I think that like the basically what happened was a lot of like older people because of the 90s and because of all the violent type of hip, uh, rap that came out of the 90s due yeah. to the, the west coast east coast um problems uh i think that put a like a bad stigma on you know rap and hip-hop and that whole field so mm -hmm. like right now there's pretty much everyone's just working with everyone coast to coast to try to make money and i think the problem now is that they're just trying to they're focusing less on the art now, I feel like, and trying to... But Max, what you, you know. just said is, is is disconcerting in that the number one uh, priority shouldn't be making money. Right. It should be in, in not hurting or killing people, I would hope. You know? Right. Don't you agree with that? Yeah, yeah and I think um, they, they moved to, to that, to, to try to make money instead of focusing on violence. And mm -hmm. I think this whole wave of anti-violence is really good. And I think hip-hop in general and rap and, and all the subgenres of that type of music is moving in more of a positive direction because of people from Chicago, I feel. Mm -hmm. so. We're the peacemakers in this? I think so. Are we really? Yeah. Uh, is, is uh, from the standpoint of the world of hip-hop and what's good and what's bad, is Chicago really coming to the forefront all of a sudden? Is it, are we being recognized as more of a force, would you say? Uh, yeah, definitely. Um, you know, I'd, I'd like to think of Chicago's hip-hop scene as really um, on the continued rise. Mm -hmm. um, going into 2010. Um, I mean, it starts with the big names. Um, Kanye West, obviously, we talked about and his effect on culture. Um, and some of our, uh, uh, just the trio off the top of my head is, is Common, mm -hmm. um, Lupe Fiasco, and Twista. And, you know, um, both Twista and Common have been around for a while doing their thing here in Chicago and showing love to the city, while at the same time, um, you know, spreading their own positivity. And then Lupe Fiasco um, is coming back with the Fury. He's really making a buzz um, with a new album on the way too. And just the the positive metaphors and, and lyrics that he um, is is rapping about, a lot of people are recognizing his skills right now. Mm -hmm. and, um, so those three are all, uh, those four rather, are all going to be um, you know releasing albums this year. Big contributors. And, and yeah. I think yeah. they're going to contribute. And then on top of that, we got a very lively underground scene. Um, yeah, that's popping right now, and and it, it goes from hipsters to gangsters and to I mean even not really to classify all of those people at the same time because there's a lot of um, in hip hop there's a lot of you know give and take here and, sure. and like how Chicago is the melting pot of the country the the hip hop scene sort of reflects that. As all right, well. we will find out right. more about this and other stuff ahead. Stay here. Uh, I'm Bill Left. This is Chicago Now Radio. We'll be back after this. Chicago Now Radio with Bill Leff. Chicago is WGN Radio 720. Sergeant Tibbs and Max G are in the studio. Uh, they write the blog site, Go Wear uh, Hip Hop. And guys, you be honest, that track you just heard is something I laid down a few weeks ago. What did you think? Be honest. <laughs> I think you have a striking work? resemblance to Chameleon. That's, well, you're, you're, it's nice of you to say. I hope you're uh, being serious when you say that. Uh, a couple of things to ask you. Number one, you, you haven't been doing this blog site that long. When did you, when did you start doing this? 2007. Yeah, uh, so uh, we're two, three years into it. Where do you see it going? What's your eventual goal with the blog site? What do you hope to do with it in the future? We got uh, a few things trying to move forward into the new year. Um, we want to have, you know, trying to set up more you know, uh, basically a company called Goer Entertainment, 
which would basically encompass, you know, doing events and things mm -hmm. like that. Since, you know, we have the blog, we're talking to a lot of artists in the city and, um, you know, a lot of people uh, that are involved in the industry as well. And, mm -hmm. you know, we were think we go to a lot of venues, so we were thinking, why not, you know, start in the future doing some type of events ourselves yeah. under a company called Goer Entertainment. And also right now we manage a group called uh, uh, LA and Mr. Music, part of uh, Goer Music Group. Yeah. Yeah. Um L.A. and Mr. Music, uh, they're a hip-hop slash uh, pop duo um, that we um, have been working with now for about a year and a half and um, helping them along uh, in, in officially managing them and um, now establishing uh, what we call Goer Music Group, which will um, hopefully encompass some more Yeah, encompass some artists. more artists um, down the line. It definitely leaves us open. Um, for those listening out there, you can check them out at um, myspace.com slash Mr. Music Sound, um, just as it sounds, M-R-M-U-S-I-C, sound. And, um, <coughs> and then, uh, you know, another thing we got going, um, Max started up, is called Limited G. Um, yeah, it's like a little, uh, kind of like a clothing line. Oh, yeah? Um, it's actual business, and it's, uh, I'm wearing one of those shirts, people can't see it, but... It is a white t-shirt uh, with a gold it's star on it, and <laughs> um, I'm describing it as best yeah. I can. Uh, some satanic message that I don't understand, Max. What's in the middle? It's an eyeball... Uh, uh, what is that exactly? What's going on? Um, it's just basically like an archaic symbol, symbol of protection. But basically I put, uh, you know, graphics that I design on oh, there nice. and, uh, you know, try to come out with new tees. And we use it as, a, you know, a promotional item for the site and the artists that we meet and Would interview. you consider me as a spokesmodel? Is there something I can do to convince you that I should be the spokesmodel for your new line of clothing? <laughs> <laughs> uh, we're we're welcome need, to give no you no, I think that laugh said it no all back. All right. Uh, yesterday you posted a, a very interesting thing. A, a man named uh, Trey Songs. Am I saying the name correctly? Yeah, Trey yep. Songs. All right. He just yep. visited this school in uh, Minneapolis, uh, the Brooklyn Center High School, and he brings uh, positive messages. His goal is to come and spread positive messages about hip hop and through hip hop. Uh, what exactly are these messages? What is he doing with this? Um, well, uh, that post, uh, you can check it out online, goerhiphop.com right now. It's, um, it, it, uh, is a video where he speaks to these high school students, um, about, um, very uplifting sort of messages in... Basically tell, telling students that they're special and unique and individuals mm -hmm. and that they have the potential to do whatever they want to do and as long as they envision it and you know, make good decisions. It's basically a very uplifting message, and he goes around uh, uh, high He goes around, around the country, the country. Um, in high school. He, was, he started in Chicago. Um, he's not from Chicago, but his his first um, sort of stop in the Songs for Peace program, uh, which is what it's called, was in Chicago. And, um, and yeah, he, uh, between him and the panel that he has going, they use their personal stories and experiences to, um, you know, really drive points home to yeah. youth that um, would really make a difference for them. Do you think it's uh, more advantageous to the kids to see somebody who they admire, some some hip hop artist, as opposed to Earl Holloman from Police Woman coming to speak to the kids? Uh, they, I guess they fit in a lot more with a hip hop guy, right? Yeah, certainly. Um, you know, that video, everyone, all uh, the entire stadium was like yelling in a high pitched voice. They were yelling. Like they were that. singing along to so. the songs, and yeah, I mean, it's it's uh, someone that they look up to talking to them is just has much more of an impact. Good. Yeah. Well, keep up the good work, guys. Uh, the name of the blog said again, Go Wear Hip Hop. It's Sergeant Tibbs. It's Max G. I believe the three of us are now going to form a posse. I, really, <laughs> I truly believe that. I'm not just saying that. I mean it. All right, we'll be back with more stuff. It's uh, WGN.